In the temperate zones where uh, water falls all year round, the relationship between human settlements and, and water is a quite gentle and easy one. But in many countries, there's a combination of too much or too little water. And Brazil is uh, an archetypical case in that sense. It has huge water resources, primarily in the Amazon, but the water is where the people aren't, and where the people are, there's no water. Uh, the, perhaps the worst affected area is the state of Ceará. The capital city of Fortaleza has frequently been at risk of insufficient water due to frequently occurring droughts and no rainfall plus an impermeable soil that is hard to tap for water and has very poor quality and very low levels of underground water. About 10 years ago, a major drought caused a, the panic building of a, an emergency canal to, to bring water to the city and the water arrived within days of, of there being not enough to drink. But uh, the emergency canal really brought uh, muddy water and was a poor quality and couldn't be sustained the way it was built. It was, it was done in a very ad hoc basis. So the bank has become involved in building a professionally designed 255 kilometer long canal named the Canal de, de la Integração, which brings the water to Fortaleza from the uh, Castanhal Reservoir. It will supply 95% of the water needed for Fortaleza's uh, economy and for potable water consumption. So that's a very interesting and, uh, and dramatic uh, example of an interbasin transfer that brings water to where people... Vietnam is another uh, interesting example of how environmental degradation had much greater costs than was originally anticipated. People living along the coast chopped down the mangroves to use as firewood, to use as building material, and to build shrimp ponds. Uh, shrimp ponds did provide a large income right at, right at the outset, but they quickly became contaminated by disease and were no longer usable. And then it, then it became apparent that there had was an enormous financial cost to the loss, to loss of these natural defenses. Uh, fish, uh, shrimp, you know, and other seafood could no longer had a place to, to, to breed, which meant that fishing collapsed. The frequent storms along the coast, loose salt water and dried salt out into the fields, stopping agricultural production. And flooding was, was very common with destruction of, of people's homes and loss of their possessions, fishing boats, what have you. So restoring those, the, the mangroves, which, uh, which the World Bank helped finance, it has actually helped the coast to uh, stop eroding and begin accreting in some places with uh, shrimp and other uh, seafood being found there now in quantities that hadn't been seen for decades. And fishing is improving and generally people's livelihoods has gone way, have gone way up just as a result of letting the original species, uh, trees and shrubs, return to the coast. The main lessons are that a sustainable uh, water supply, and particularly uh, having water in quantities and of a quality uh, that's economical to use, is really dependent on making sure that certain natural features that protect the water bodies are restored.